Welcome back all. Today we're going to be looking at some tips and tricks that I've learned with Stable Diffusion. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. Right then, for tip number one, we're going to go to this GitHub site here that someone has kindly put together. Um, super useful. This lists um, hundreds of artists and it gives you examples of their styles. So in terms of a little cheat sheet, um, if we copy the prompt and enter it into automatic 11.11 or in a couple of images you can see that with minimal prompting we should start getting some pretty interesting results now let's have a look <laughs> it's like lady gaga <laughs> see really cool and that's with minimal prompting so obviously adding more prompts you can start creating um, some really cool pieces of work so that's that one but number two um, is we've talked about prompting before so if we have a lady in Central Park, 8K masterpiece, rather than manually adding the brackets or working out the um, the syntax to put in a, the numerical value, you can hit Control and arrow up while you're in a word, and this will add it for us. So a little quick tip to save some time. Um, next, we're going to go to a Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. And within here, we have something called styles.csv. Now, if you haven't entered anything to this, yours will be um, empty. And I use this, that if I find a style, uh, so, you know, some prompts that really work for me. So, for example, on this one, I put in photorealism. We can see that uh, when you add back, I'll come back to that in a sec. When we drop down these styles, when we launch uh, the web UI um, batch file, it will pick up that style CSV folder, and then we can literally just add, and here's another one I had default negative. Uh, if we generate that, now to the Luke, and you can see we're starting to get some um, photo realistic images, and it's just a really useful tool to use your styles. If you're trying to do digital paintings, um, cartoon drawings, anime, you can have them listed here, and it saves you memorizing what you need to enter into the prompts to get that desired effect. Um, another one we can have is there's a little arrow um, in the corner here. Um, if we've forgotten what we've put in our last prompt, this will literally reset it for us. So as you can see, that picked up both the photorealism and default negative. Um, and there we have all of our prompts put in for us. Another thing that um, I'll probably mention while I'm in here is the sampling method. We've said before there are many, many sampling methods we, that are listed. Um, you can customize um, how this looks on your version of the web UI. So for example, if you never use DPM2 and DPM2A uh, for whatever reason, you can go to the settings page, uh, scroll down to sampler parameters, and we can say we don't want to show DPM2 and DPM2A. I have nothing against those, I just uh, don't tend to use them. Um, we'll need to re uh, reload the UI. <laughs> It always crashes and then comes back to life. And in our sampling methods now, you can see that we no longer have those listed. So if you only use three or four at a time, uh, it's a much simpler UI to use rather than scrolling down trying to find the one you want. Um, another thing to mention is again back to the web UI folder. We have something called interrogate. So this is what's built into um, Stable Diffusion. So for example, in the artist.txt file, you can see all of the artists that are listed um, within Stable Diffusion that it recognizes. And I think from memory there's around 5,500 of them, so plenty. Uh, let's try a famous one, someone like Jackson Pollock, and you can see he appears in our list. So if you need inspiration in terms of trying out, they, I mean, they are text, so you'd have to go through and kind of play around with what works. Um, but you can also see in terms of the, the movements, Art Deco, so if you're after sort of a little bit of inspiration, um, you can scroll through these um, and you can get some really good results. Um, but it is a little bit of trial and error um, playing with them. And probably the last thing I'll mention on here, which I only found out yesterday, <laughs> surprisingly, um, this generate button, if you right click the generate button, in fact we'll put back in our, our prompts, um, if we right click the generate button, <clears throat> instead of having to, if we want to, generate multiple images instead of playing around with the batch count you can literally right click on this button and say generate forever 
and then stable diffusion will literally just keep on producing image after image after image um, I, I wouldn't suggest running this overnight like this because your poor GPU card will um, not thank you I don't think um, and that's about it so hopefully you find something new that you haven't used before or it helps you speed up um, your experience and your workflows um, any questions drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to help cheers guys